Thank you, Alfred. Uh, buenos dias a todos. This is all the Spanish I know, so from here on, English. Um, the, the following slides will present some of the work I did during my PhD and what I have been doing for the past four years now uh, was imaging arteries from the kidneys all the way to the feet. Why is that interesting? Because due to normal aging processes and other environmental factors, arteries anywhere in the body tend to build plaque and if this buildup is very severe, um, the structure of the artery could get completely blocked, which could lead to decreased perfusion of organs or in the case of legs of the, of the muscles. Uh, my objective uh, in this imaging project was to see whether the arteries are structurally intact, and that's valuable when you're trying to, dis to make uh, treatment decisions uh, in patients who have um, atherosclerotic disease in the legs. Uh, there are many techniques that are clinically used and are very accurate. So the real question is why bother developing something new? And particularly, why do it without contrast? Uh, the main reason uh, for that is that kidney patients, uh, people whose kidneys are not properly functioning, cannot be imaged with uh, CT and geography, which uses a nef nephrotoxic iodine-based contrast agent. Similarly, these patients cannot be imaged with gadolinium-enhanced MRI. Um, so there is a need for a non-invasive technique for this patient population. And I worked on two different techniques. One was for the lower extremities. Um, the basic idea is if you image the body with a spin echo sequence, uh, it turns out that uh, arteries have different appearance depending on their, their flow. So if the flow is fast, uh, you get a dark artery and the flow is slow, you get a bright artery. So if you're smart about how you take the picture relative to the cardiac cycle, uh, you can cancel everything and just get a bright angiogram. For the abdominal, for the abdomen, we use a different technique which uh, utilizes the fact that um, the abdominal aorta, the blood flow in the abdominal aorta is, is very fast. And I'll show you some images here, typical images. This is a non-contrast angiogram. And you can appreciate that it's quite similar, even with so much disease in the thigh, uh, to the contrast-enhanced case. And the images are actually quite impressive. Uh, one of the problems, though, is that the technique is not, at least the clinical experience so far, has been that the technique is not very robust to patient motion. So one of the things that I did was uh, modify the acquisition to improve robustness to patient motion. And we haven't validated it yet clinically, but the initial results are quite promising. Uh, we've validated, we've done a small study uh, in patients with the abdominal technique and we're getting a very high uh, negative predictive value on the order of uh, 98, in the 98th percentile, but the technique tends to overestimate stenosis. So there are still things to be done, uh, but I think we've, we have something that works uh, clinically even though it has somewhat of a false positive, somewhat of a high false positive rate. As far as uh, future directions, I really would like to stay in the clinic and work on direct clinical applications, but I'm very curious to explore um, different applications, different uh, pathologies, as well as different modalities. Uh, so if you would like to contact me, um, either of these ways. Thank you.